Nothing takes you back to the past quite like a ride in a horse-drawn carriage. A timeless vehicle in both appearance and construction. Building one today still requires the expertise of several traditional craftspeople. From iron workers to wheelwrights. The carriage's turning mechanism is a fifth wheel that's positioned horizontally above the two front wheels. Workers weld the fifth wheel to the carriage's steel frame, then weld the boarding steps to the frame. Until now, the frame has been positioned upside down. Now they turn it right side up to install the driver's seat. First, they measure carefully to ensure it's perfectly centered. Then they weld it in place. Once the frame is complete, it goes through an acid wash to remove any residue. Then they buff the welded joints to smooth out their surface. The carriage has drum brakes. Workers install them onto the axle, then assemble the steel springs that make up the suspension. And bolt them onto the axle as well. Next, they connect the brake line. Then they install the whole assembly under the carriage's frame. Like in the olden days, they make the wheels out of wood. Metal isn't flexible enough to withstand bumps in the road. They use ash because it's a very hard wood that doesn't rot easily. Workers position 16 spokes around a steel hub. They clamp the spokes in place, compressing them against the hub. Then they secure them with nuts and bolts. Next, they mark the spokes in two places. The first line shows how long to cut each spoke. The second line how far to dowel the end. To form the dowel, they first shape the end into a cone. Then the cone into a dowel. Those doweled spokes will fit into corresponding holes. They now drill into two semicircular strips of wood. The strips form what's called the fellow, the round part of the wheel. Workers tighten the hub, then press a steel band called a channel against the fellow. They cut the channel to size then weld the ends together. Finally, they buff the joint smooth. Next, they drill eight holes through the channel. Then, using a tapering tool, thread the holes to fit the bolts that bind the channel to the fellow. Finally, they tighten the bolts with a special gun. The tires are made of rubber. They contain two steel wires to hold them in place over the wheel. Workers grease the channel of the now painted wheel so that the tire will slip on easily. Then they mount the wheel on the automated tire installation machine, which pulls on the wires, installing the tire tightly over the wheel. They solder the wire ends together, using bronze solder for a stronger joint. Then, here comes the high-tech part. They bang the wheel on the ground four or five times until the distance between the tire ends closes, covering the soldered wires inside. A tap of the hammer followed by a final bang ensures the tire joint is secure. Now they can mount the wheels onto the axles and install the axles under the body of the carriage. After testing the fifth wheel and the brakes, it's time to apply the finishing artistic touches. All they need now is a little horsepower.